Okay, uh, Scotty, um, I'm making a video, and I'm going to post this on YouTube, and I'm going to send you the link uh, just to make sure that I didn't just totally screw something up, okay? Uh, no batteries yet. I'm, I have them ordered and not supposed to be here for a few weeks, I think, based upon what the guy said as far as the delivery is concerned. But um, I got uh, this hooked up to this, to the potentiometer, uh, checked it with the scale, now, my scale read like 5.08 when it went all the way up, and I'm assuming that that's in thousands, if I'm guessing. And so if that's the case, then I'm at that five, barely over 5,000 point, and I felt like that was fine. I can, adjust, I can adjust this a little bit if I need to fix that to get right at 5,000. But what I really wanted to, to show you was the wiring and to make sure that I didn't just totally screw something up um, as far as you know everything was concerned. Now, uh, first off, on the potentiometer, that the number three is actually in the middle. The two is at the top as far as what this stuff reads. Um, the number one down here reads like COM, I think it's what it says right there. Uh, and then the top one, I, I swear, I think it reads NC, if I'm not mistaken. Um, what I did is, is that I ran, let me back up. I ran number one up there to one of the parts for my forward reverse switch. Now I put it on the bottom, I'm assuming that that's okay and that it doesn't really matter, but if it is, I need to know. But I ran number one from the potentiometer to that part of the, to the little part of the uh, switch. I ran the next part to the front of the cart for the key, okay? Um, I haven't finished running it, but that's what I have set up there. Um, all of the black wires I feel more than comfortable with, you were right. Uh, the larger end here happened to have the heat shrink on it, so they're just backwards. So I'm going to get some tape and just, you know, put it on the other end just to make sure that it's red and, and universal, kind of like, you know, we want it to be as far as the batteries are concerned. Um, okay, on the solenoid, first off, this resistor, um, I mean, I can bend it slightly. It's not touching this thing right now, but I mean, where's it, is it supposed to be tucked under here? Does it matter where it goes, um, et cetera? You did say, and based on the reading, this little stripe right here is going to determine whether or not what side's positive. Now, I chose to make the positive battery lead on this side because I had made this positive based on this small thing right here. Um, on the picture, you know, they're not the same, meaning the picture, these are here and these little small things are actually like this. So I felt like it really didn't matter, but I just kind of wanted to check and make sure. Um, coming off of the one that goes to the, ba the battery positive, I have the resistor here, and I also have this black wire. You can tell it's not put in right. Um, I've got to get a different uh, connector there, but this is also going to the, the key, and I'm assuming that this forward reverse switch one, micro one that's going to the key, um, and this black one that I have going from this one to the key, it really doesn't matter which part of the key it goes on, because that's just going to make the connection there uh, and let things kind of you know get going. So... Uh, I'm assuming that's the case, and, and correct me if I'm wrong uh, via email. Uh, what I did is, is that since this was the positive, I ran this wire right here. Let me back up so I can see. And I have it going to the number three over here on my, um, on my potentiometer. So I ran you know, from the number three to the positive on my solenoid. The other one that's here is going to the number one on my controller, meaning I ran that wire this wire right here, and it's going in right there into my controller. I have these from the potentiometer. You said it doesn't matter which direction they go, so I have those uh, you know, there as well. Um, and then finally, um, the black one that you see coming off of the negative side of the potentiometer is the one that I ran into the B minus right here. The B minus, I, don't, I have not tightened everything down, um, on my controller. And based on, you know, what everything is saying here, I mean, based on, you know, the, the image, which, I mean, I don't know why I'm showing that to you. You obviously have it. I think that is all correct, at least based on what I'm looking at. So biggest question, Scotty, that I have is that on this one, two, three, you know, the three, like I said, is in the middle. On the image that you sent me, the two, it's like in order. One, sorry, I'm sorry. One, two, three, but it's actually one, two, and three based on what this thing actually says here. So I'm asking... Is this one on the number one bottom that says COM? I have it going to one of the forward reverse switch micro switch, and I'm assuming that it does not matter once again which one's in. 
And then the second thing is, is that is the number three, the one that is supposed to be going to the positive uh, of the solenoid. Also, once again, my biggest question is, is that I know that you said it does not have a polarity on its own, and I'm going to decide that, meaning that I put the stripe towards this way, so this is now my positive. Does these, do these matter in the sense of which one is now, quote, positive or negative? And actually, I don't think it matters based on the diagram because it looks like both of these are positive. This one's headed out to my B positive anyway um, on my controller. This one is right here. Um, and this one right here is obviously going to the batteries. So those are my biggest questions that I've got. Once again, you had talked about my, uh, let's see, my charger. And let me show you here. You know, you had said here on this thing that this thingy right here where they have connected stuff down here, that I just ignore it. So what you're basically saying is, is that unscrew both of these, I mean, every, you know, all this out of here, Obviously, you can see which side's positive and negative, and you're saying run 10 gauge wire from the uh, um, from the positive to my positive on my batteries, and then run obviously 10 gauge wire from the negative to the negative on my batteries, and then I'll remount this thing underneath, you know, the the back the rear cowl, I guess it is, and then of course then the plug you gave me will go in there. That's that's basically the way it sounds to me. Um, you know, based on what you've told me to do so far. And so, and also one last question you gave me. Um, these for the battery cables, and I'm assuming this is the regular battery cables for if I was running eight, sorry, six eight volt batteries for 48. Then you gave me number 10 and 11. Now, I'd, I'd never found a number nine and I'm assuming that's because there was going to be confusion between number nine and six, and you didn't want that to happen. So I'm assuming that these two cables um, here, this nine and ten, seeing as how they're the same length and all that kind of stuff, sorry, um, nine and ten, I'm assuming those are the ones that are made to go back to the back well, uh, bag well for my, um, my two extra batteries, since I am running these uh, eight six-volt batteries. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to make this video, and I hate you had to watch it and listen to my stupid voice talk, but, you know, I was trying to make sure before I, you know, kept going that I was, I was doing everything right and running wires right, and I'm going to try to clean the wires up, tucking them under things and tying them down with tie downs. But I was just wanting to make sure that everything was okay um, and that, you know, no big deal, no problems. And like I said, you know, biggest questions were the one and the three, or sorry, the one and the, the yeah, the one and the two on the potentiometer, um, and making sure that I had the right one going where. Uh, the next thing was whether or not the solenoid was done right, um, mainly in the sense that, you know, if I control the positive, did I accidentally screw it up in the sense of which one these are, or does this not matter? Does this thing need to be moved out somewhere to keep it from touching anything? Um, and other than that, um, and I, like I said, I think the keys do doesn't matter because it's just going to, you know, make the final connection. So as far as which one goes in. Um, and also, what? sorry. I know I got a thousand questions. I'm assuming, look, there were wires plugged into this thing on the back of this plate. Uh, I'm assuming I do not need this for any reason whatsoever now. Uh, just trying to make sure um, that that's correct. Uh, if you can, just kind of let me know. That may be like the, the reverse horn. I don't know. I mean, I don't want a horn for the reverse if I can help it anyway. So, But anyway, thank you so much. And uh, I'm going to get this video uploaded and get it to you as uh, soon as I can. Thank you. Oh, once again, sorry. I didn't. <laughs> sorry, I just dropped the phone, which is totally funny. Uh, this is Brad Carr. Um, you've, you know, done all my work for me as far as, uh, you know, all my wiring stuff and what you sent me. So, just uh, here, I'll show you. Hey, it's me. Yeah. Um, and I got my charger in, and the only thing I'm lacking now is the motor. But I think, like you said, that was coming from New York, so I'm sure it's going to take a little longer. So, anyway, thanks a ton, and uh, you know, if you, I'd love to hear back from you on email, just to kind of let me know questions that I had, etc. Thank you so much.